Hello, my name is Eugene Mathias. I am a funeral celebrant and I'm also the founder of Create My Legacy. Why did I found Create My Legacy? Well, it wasn't until my mother died that I realised the stress and the grief that my families go through when they lose a loved one. At a time when they are at the lowest point in their lives and they should be given the space to grief, they literally just have a matter of days to produce the funeral service for their loved ones. Let me give you an example of what happens when I'm actually with the family. I will need to read from this, I've written it up. Imagine you're sitting in on your own funeral family visit. The celebrant is taking notes. You haven't left funeral instructions and the family don't know what you want for your funeral service. And when it comes to your eulogy, it's very interesting because each family has a different memory about the same event in your life. There are gaps, in fact, big gaps missing. And they don't know what your life was like as a, a child, a teenager, an adult, in fact, before you got married. In fact, their memories don't really start until about the age of six or seven. Your loved ones become distressed and upset. And at the funeral, the eulogy is very sadly incomplete. Elements of your life lost forever and your loved ones will never know the full story of you. At Create My Legacy, we help you to overcome these problems. We take away the pain and the heartache that your loved ones, your family are left with. And how we do this, it's actually very simple, is we will help you to plan your funeral service in advance from taking your instructions to helping you write your eulogy and then finally producing a bespoke funeral for you. Once you've approved it, it will then be bound, you'll get a hard copy and your loved ones, your next of kin, will be notified and they will know what to do when the time comes. We also have our YouTube channel and here we supply you with actually very important information about dying and the law and everything that you need to know, especially what comes after it. And there is also nine free information packs to supply you. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how much does a funeral cost? And can you do anything to reduce this cost? So I'm going to share my screen with you now. So here we are. And this is our Create My Legacy uh, presentation. And today we're going to be talking about how much does a funeral cost? Well, the average funeral, and we're now in 2020, costs for a burial about £4,000 or just over £4,000. An average cremation is about £3,200. You can see there is quite a variation, quite a differential between a burial <coughs> and a cremation. There are many things to think about when you're deciding on arranging a funeral. And it is a difficult time for family and friends who are left to deal with this loss. A funeral is also a big surprise to families as to how much it does cost. So of course you might want to think about taking out some sort of insurance policy or plan that will cover this for your family. We're gonna give you a breakdown of the cost. We're gonna suggest a few ways to help you plan an affordable funeral. And there are things that possibly you might want to consider. Most people are left trying to arrange a funeral while coping with grief and they can't think straight. And this is what we as funeral celebrants find out all too often. Choose a funeral that's affordable and is right for the person who has died. It's not wrong or disrespectful to give thought to funeral costs. Many people think they have to spend as much possible as, as much money as possible on a funeral. You don't. Do please get at least two quotes, maybe one from an independent funeral director and another quote from a chain. Many people, they choose to use a funeral director. They can get guidance and help from them. But remember, Funeral directors, they are a business 
and they can be the most expensive part of any funeral. More expensive options don't really mean a better funeral. Now funeral directors, they will offer you quite a few optional extras and this will increase the cost of the service. Please remember the most important thing are the words that are said, the music that you choose to listen, listen to and the actions. These can be more meaningful than expensive cars and expensive coffins. And by actions, it could be a special colour, a football team, laying roses on the coffin before you leave. Please remember nowadays, it's very difficult to do this because of COVID. Now, the average cost of a funeral. Recent figures show that funerals, they with their funeral directors, cost just under £4,000. This is a lot of money. And this cost can vary quite a bit depending on where you are in the country and what you want to include in the funeral itself. For example, quotes in London, well, these can vary by as much as over £2,000, but it is possible to have a meaningful funeral for a lot less. For example, you could have a direct cremation, and this is becoming more popular. And these are about £1,700, and then you could organise a ceremony later, a memorial ceremony, a ceremony at home, and you could even arrange the funeral service yourself. So let's actually have a look and see the cost of the funeral. The funeral director's fees are the most expensive part of a funeral and in many cases are over 50% of the total costs. However, if you do use a funeral director, they will collect, store, prepare and deliver the body to the cemetery or the crematorium. They'll also ensure that all the necessary forms and paperwork for the cremation or burial are completed. And some will also arrange a simple ceremony as part of their fees. So you do need to think about this. They will also provide a coffin, a hearse, and usually a limousine. So funeral directors, even though they are the most expensive part, they do supply you with an awful lot. But please, please remember that these items can very quickly add up, depending on what you choose to pick. For example, coffin can be as little as £100 and as much as £10,000. And on one occasion, there was a service that I did, an Italian service, and the coffin was much, much, much more than £10,000. So, how do you find a funeral director? Don't just pick one. Call around. Get at least two quotes. Speak to them. See which ones you feel comfortable with, confident with. And that's the one that you should then go with. Consider using a local independent funeral director. They are much cheaper, normally family businesses, as opposed to a national chain. Now, there are sites that you can go to to have a look and find out where funeral directors are. You've got the Fair Funeral Campaign. You've got the National Association of Funeral Directors, and this is the professional body. You can find them online and the Society of Allies and Independent Funeral Directors. And these are the smaller chains, the family chains that you can go to. On top of the cost of the funeral, there are third party costs or disbursement costs, as they're called. And these will go to a third party. And this could be the funeral director. He will manage this for you. He will possibly ask you for the money up front. And uh, they can vary a lot. You know, a, crema a uh, cremation is normally cheaper, even if you are using a funeral director. But the burial costs vary enormously around the country. A new grave costing from over £550 in Belfast to over £4,700 in London and Brighton areas. Burial fees, uh, you're going to lease the burial plot, and then you'll have to pay for the digging and the filling in of the grave. And there's also the fee to use the crematorium to cremate the body. As you can see, these do mount up. 
There are things that you need to bear in mind. Before you decide on a cemetery or crematorium, you need to look at things that might affect the final cost. There is a big price difference in having a funeral in one crematorium or cemetery to another just a few miles apart. So it's a good idea to check your local areas and compare the costs. You should ask if there are non-resident charges. These are extra charges. Um, and this is for somebody who doesn't live in the district or the borough. To give you an example, I did one service and um, the family lived in Luton, but they did for when they retired, they moved down to Devon. And when they had to be buried, they had to be buried in Luton because of the insurance plan that they took out. And there was an extra cost because they didn't live in the area. There are separate charges for the uh, upkeep of the grave to keep it clean and tidy. And this is normally paid every year. And before you decide, please do check on these costs. They could be separate charges to use the cemetery or crematorium to conduct the funeral service. You should check if this is included in the burial or cremation fees from the funeral director. And third party costs, well, you've got doctor's fees, you've got a member of the clergy to perform the funeral service or an officiant to lead a non-religious service. As you can see, it's not simple. It's not easy. There is a lot involved. So let's talk about reducing the cost of a funeral. Is it possible? Can you do it? Well, don't feel pressured to spend a lot of money just to show affection and respect. And this is what happens. This is the norm. You can have a funeral that's dignified and meaningful without spending huge amounts of money and it is important shop around as we said earlier funeral costs they can and they do vary a lot well you might find it difficult it's important to compare prices and services get quotes remember it isn't only the funeral director you've got caterers florists you need to compare their prices as well ask family and friend Instead of paying for a caterer, if you're going to have a reception, possibly a village hall, see if the family and friends will help make food for you. It is important. Doing this is much, much cheaper. And it is, and it does make sense. Charity collections and memorials, buying and maintaining a headstone or memorial plaque, it can be expensive. Instead, you can create an online memorial where family and friends can donate to charity in memory of your loved one. Think about the time of day for a cremation. It is cheaper, there are cheaper slots, early morning, midweek. Have a look and council run crematoriums are cheaper than private ones. Okay, let's have a look at keeping costs down. And this is where the cost can really mount, the type of coffin. Oh, by the way, there's nothing in law that says you have to use a coffin. You could use a shroud instead. And don't get pressurized into picking an expensive coffin or shroud if you're working on a limited budget. A natural burial, this is becoming more, more popular. You might want to consider a natural burial such as a woodland. And these can actually be lovely because you can go and visit your loved ones later on. And they normally have benches nearby where you can sit and enjoy memories and time that you used to have together. They're often much cheaper than a, a cemetery. And there are also non-resident fees if the person died and comes from a different area. Body donation. Many people are starting to let their bodies be used for the training and healthcare and research. And again, this is another way where the costs can be reduced or you can keep the cost down. What is a direct cremation or a ceremony or a cremation without a ceremony? Direct cremation, well, they are offered by some companies and this is where the body is collected from a mortuary during normal working hours and cremated at a convenient time. It is sometimes known as a 
cremation without a ceremony. I will be honest, many, many families who have done this have found this very, very distressing, not being there to say goodbye to their loved ones. There is usually no viewing or ceremony beforehand or limousine for the family or the mourners. In fact, nobody attends this kind of crema this kind of cremation. If you would like to have the ashes, please make sure you request it. This is very important or you will not get them. You will usually, you will usually need to collect them, but there will be a collection charge. This leaves you to hold the ceremony if you want at a later time, at a later place, but it really, really is not the same. How much is it? Well, we suggest a budget of about £1,700. The information that we're going to give you, we, we got off the internet. We found several companies that were offering di direct cremations for around £1,000. The price normally includes third party costs, such as doctor certificates and cremation crematorium fees. If you'd like the ashes, you will have to pay about £150. And collecting the body outside of normal working hours, for example, a nursing home or residence home, that's about an extra £550. And that's where we came to the cost of about £1,700. Please be aware, it could cost more, depending on where you are in the country. So let's actually move on. What should you do? Plan ahead. Please think seriously about planning ahead. Write your funeral instructions. This will help those sorting out your funeral because when they sit with the funeral celebrant, they really haven't got a clue. They don't know what they're talking about. And remember, they're in pain, they're stressed and they're grieving. If you do that, by simply writing funeral instructions, well, basically this will ensure that things that matter to you, things that you want to have happen, happen. As I said earlier, this will reduce the pain and heartbreak that families will go through when they lose a loved one. Doing this, you're giving your family peace of mind and they'll not have to worry about anything. You can take out a funeral insurance plan and of course, this is wonderful because it will help pay for the cost of the funeral. Talk to us. Our experienced team members are all professionally trained funeral celebrants. We understand families. We understand funerals. And we understand how to talk about such a taboo subject. So look, let us help you. I create my legacy. We'll take away the pain and the heartbreak from your loved ones by helping you plan your funeral ahead. How can we help you? To start off with, we have nine information packs. They're completely free and they cover everything of dying, the law, and what comes after and what you need to know. We will write up your funeral instructions free. We're doing this because this is so important to your loved ones. Our team will help you put together your eulogy. It's easy to do because we do it bite size, so it's not overwhelming. You have time to think about the wonderful memories and we'll write them up for you. We will then, once we have got your funeral instructions, produce an order of service for the funeral director. We will then take your eulogy and together we will combine them into a bespoke funeral service. And you can, if you want, have a celebration of life later on. And this is when you're still alive. Everything, when you've approved it, will be bound together and we'll send it to you for safekeeping. We will also notify your next of kin as to what they need to do when the time comes. Visit us, www.createmylegacy.co.uk. There is so much information on there and you can download the nine free information packs from there. This is what the information packs include. They supply you with details of dying and the law. 
a list of everything that you need to know. Understanding the administration that is involved, and there is a lot of administration to do. The importance of leaving funeral instructions. Well, I've already covered that. You really do need to do that. Taxes, family estate, your digital footprint. You won't realize if you have got a Facebook account, an internet account, how big your Facebook, um, your digital footprint is. Your online social legacy, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, online banking. This can be a massive headache. Absolutely. Email accounts. We produce videos like this. We try to produce them on a weekly basis to give you the information that you need. If you like these, please don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell, and that way you will be notified of videos. Our team of professionally trained uh, funeral celebrants will help you, guide you, hold your hand as we work through your funeral service with you, from taking your funeral instructions through to helping you to write up your eulogy, and then finally bringing everything together in a bespoke funeral service for you. Remember, we have many, many informational videos. Please do go and look at the other ones on our YouTube channel. All you need to do is to go to the YouTube channel and in the search bar, type Create My Legacy and scroll down until you see our logo. Click on that and you'll have all the videos there covering so much information for free. you. Don't forget, go to our website and get your free information packs today. They are really, really valuable and so much important information. Let us help you start to plan your funeral service today to take away all the pain and stress from your family and loved ones. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.